Hi, I'm Dave Aldridge. I am uh, your instructor this quarter, and I want to introduce you to a couple of podcasts that will help with, um, hopefully, help you with the time value of money concepts. So, what I'm, what I've prepared here is um, a podcast on the example, the handout that is available in Unit Four, and I want to show you how to use the present value and future value functions in Excel to solve these problems. Now, we can. Uh, Historically, we can solve these with um, uh, time value of money tables that are usually in your textbook. Uh, some of you probably have financial calculators, and that's another way to do it. Um, but by and large, nowadays, uh, people use Excel to do this. So this podcast will introduce you to using Excel for the future value and um, present value. Okay, the um, Excel has uh, present value and future value functions. So I want to show you how to do those. Um, the first question says, find the future value of $2,000 left in the bank, 5% interest, 8 years. So I'm going to put my recording here in this cell. I'm going to do equals FV, that stands for future value. And then I'm going to do an open parentheses. Now here is the information that Excel is looking for. A rate, the number of periods, a payment, and the present value in parentheses or negative. Okay, so let's go and extract that information. The rate is 0.05%, comma. The number of periods is 8, comma. The payment is 0. This is not an annuity, so we're not making $2,000 payments every year. It's just a you know, one-time amount, comma present value. Um, the present value is what it's worth today. So if it's $2,000 today, we want to know what it's going to grow to in the future. So I'm going to do minus 2000, close parentheses. I hit uh, return and now you can see that I've got the same number that we calculated over here using this formula. Uh, only now I've used Excel to do that. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Uh, really the same formula, the only differences I have to consider are is this information here. What's my monthly interest rate? How many monthly periods do I have? So it's equals, again it's future value. The rate, which is already calculated for me there, 0 0.00416667, comma, the number of periods, 96 months, period, or excuse me, comma, the payment is zero, comma, the present value again in negative is 2000, close parentheses, return. So I've now calculated that same amount using Excel. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is now a present value, so these two are future values, right, FVs. This is now a present value. So Excel has present value functions, PV, so equals PV, open parentheses. My rate is 0 0.06. The number of periods is 9. The payment is 0, again, because this is just a single sum. And now it wants the future value in brackets, or excuse me, negative, so minus 10,000, close parentheses, <clears throat> and it returns me the present value of that money. So 10,000 nine years from now at a discount rate of 6% is the same as 5,900 today in today's dollars. All right, let's take a look at um, these present values. Again, I have uh, I have three different really cash flows, so I have to do it three different times and total it just like I've done here. But the process isn't very difficult. So it's equals PV, open parentheses. The rate is 6%. The number of periods, the first one is 1, because it's, it's at the end of one year. The payment is 0, excuse me, the number of periods was 1. The payment is 0, and the future value negative 100 equals present value 0 
the number of periods for the second one is two because it's two years from now. Payment is zero, future value negative 100. The last one, present value, the rate is six. The number of periods now, this is three years later. The payment is zero and the future value is minus 2,000. Close parentheses. Now I can just sum them and I get the same amount that we did uh, calculating all of those. Okay, so this short podcast is trying to help you understand uh, um, how to use Excel to use future and present values.